Hey there, MHS. I'm Matt Gonzalez, and I'm your host for today's special edition Friday show. I, like you, am excited to start our winter vacation, and at this point, the hourly countdown has started. Of course, as we all get excited to spend the holidays with our families, it's always important to remember those less fortunate. Our MHS student government led the way with that philosophy, with their annual sponsoring of Maryville Community Children. The social workers supply the student government sponsor with a list of names of the most needy students in the Maryville Community School Corporation and then we match the students with volunteer donators for their gifts. Um, I open up the fundraising to all four of my classes so every student gets an opportunity to fundraise. I know that not every class in the school uh, first hour does the wish list, so I open it up to all four classes and our goal every year is to raise at least $100, which every year we've done. I prefer um, buying and wrapping the gift, so both, because I love buying presents for people and also I like wrapping. Um, as far as participation in the event, we have um, more students covered this year by the holiday wish list than we did last year. Last year we um, had 103 students receiving gifts. This year we are up to 133, so 30 more students. And all of the gifts are covered either by first hours or by clubs. By rapping skills, um, I don't think they were, I don't, they, they were it, was, it was bad. It was just bad. Um, I actually had to have some help, but even though I still like rapping, that I barely can rap, but it's like, uh, you know, I learn new things every year or every day, um, so, yeah, I like rap. Every year we do the Christmas wish list. It's something that me and my class has always liked to do. Um, it's always good to give back to the community that you live in and the community that you serve as a teacher. So we do this every year, and we've always had really good results. Yeah, definitely. I think it'll be um, really nice to... Um, you know, give them a nice Christmas. Um, definitely they'll be able to wake up to new toys. Uh, I know I always like toys, so it's fun. All right, so we have a pretty good turnout with student government members coming and participating in the event. We have student government members that meet us um, after school to get the gifts ready to deliver to all of the different schools and then we have a two-day field trip that um, we take to deliver all of the gifts to each individual elementary the intermediate and the middle school um, we deliver the gifts to each of the corresponding schools and uh, would I do it again yes I would because you know I love Christmas and I love buying people things um, I think it's successful for Maribel just because it is a time to give back. Um, you know, it's, it's Christmas and it's something that I think everyone has a little bit of the giving spirit in them, you know, this time of year. And I think that it's just, it's a, it's a great fundraiser that student government puts on and we're always just happy to contribute. And then, um, is it hard or was it hard to buy the gift? Yes, because it was for a girl, but... Um, on the positive side is like I have a little sister so you know I'm pretty sure girls have a few things in common and so that's why I just got her um, you know a few movies that I believe that she would like. So to determine the amount of gifts that a child receives from their wish list um, they are given a wish list the parents are given a wish list to fill out 
and they are uh, they come with different sizes of clothing that the students wear so some students just need clothing and then there's a list of about eight items that they could put as either toys or clothing or other items that they would receive and most of them receive all of the items that are on their list so usually um, a mix between clothing that they need and some of their wants as well and each um, child has been pretty happy with what they have received. Many enjoy celebrating during this festive season, but do you ever have that one friend who goes a little overboard with the holiday spirit? Christmas time is here! Hey, Jeremiah, it's only 13 more days till Christmas. We have to make the most of it, because it only comes once a year, right? Let's go. One thing that everyone looks forward to every year is sending out that annual Christmas card. Alright, Pogo, you sit right here, okay? Henny, you sit right here, okay? Now, this card is going to be sent to everyone, so we have to give our biggest smiles, okay? Alright. <gasps> Smile! <laughs> Cheese! Hey, come on! You guys, what are you doing? We have to take our Christmas card. Due to the weather being bad, sometimes you just gotta sit in and watch your favorite movies and memorize all the dances from them. One of the best things in winter is all the different activities that you can do with your friends. And then we're going to go ice skating. And then we'll eat a whole roll of Toll House cookie dough as fast as we can. And then, to finish, we'll snuggle. One of the perks of living in Indiana is that it's almost always a white Christmas. Walking in a winter wonderland, gone away. Is a blue bird here to stay? Is a new bird? He's singing a song as we go along, walking in a winter in the land. Well, in the meadow we can build a snowman and pretend that he is Parson Brown. He'll say, "Are you married?" We'll say, "No, man." But you can do the job when you're in town. One of my favorite things about Christmas is seeing how many boxes of hot chocolate I can go through every year. How many of those have you had today? Only 26. just what they want for this Christmas season. And remember, only 365 more days until next Christmas. Signing off for PNN, I'm Katie Drzik. The end of the calendar year is usually the halfway point for many seniors as they anticipate graduation. For many, it's also time to reflect on their previous high school years leading up to this moment.
Freshman year can be an exciting moment in your life, beginning of new friends and a new environment. Alright, so basically go around the corner, upstairs, take a left, then a right, then you're gonna see Mr. Lopez's room. Go down the stairs, take a left, then another right, maybe another right, then a left, then go back up there. Thanks. Hello. Sophomore year, you think that you're finally acclimated to school and think that you're an upperclassman, but really, it's just freshman year part two. So yeah, girl, you want a uh, ball out party this weekend? Girl, yeah, I know ball out in all the seniors. Oh, really? Girl, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, girl, I'm gonna let it bomb out. Y'all gonna be so cute. I'm gonna get my soul in. I'm gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> Now by junior year, you are very familiar with MHS and gain some respect around the high school. But the end of high school is growing near and things are starting to get very serious. Yeah, I'm probably graduating early. I got all my credits. You know how many credits you got? I got like, I think 50. Wait, hold up. How many credits do I have? What's my GPA? Let me go check RDS real quick. Yeah, so what's below? Hey, I see you're checking RDS. How many credits you got? Let me check. I got uh, 3.0. That says 0 0.3. For real? Am I going to graduate this year? Your grandkids are going to graduate before you do. So what have I been doing this whole time? Oh my, oh my God. Senior year is known to be the most important and definitely the most stressful, but that just makes seniors work harder than ever. One hour later Two hours later Three hours later Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards School is fun, crazy, exciting, and drama filled. But these events will shape you into who you are as a person. So make the most of your high school years. They're, They're the, the only, only ones, ones that you'll have. have. 
Signing off from PNN, I'm Brianna Baggett. And I'm Noonie Bowsme. As 2016 expires and 2017 blossoms, many will make promises to themselves as they look to improve their lives with New Year's resolutions. New Year's is around the corner and many want to take the opportunity to make some promises to themselves in order to make 2017 better than 2016. With that in mind, everyone decided to share their New Year's resolution to us as they reign in 2017. This resolution get money, uh, do good in school, get ready to graduate on time. That's the New Year's resolution. And stay positive and get ready to graduate. That's all I got to say. My New Year's resolution is to follow through with my plans that I had, you know, ever since I became a senior, which is to graduate early, go off to the Navy, you know, just follow my dreams. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. My New Year resolution is walk this stage, get out this school, get some money. I'm already getting it, though. Hello! My New Year's resolution is to get accepted into college and hopefully get as many scholarships as I can. Don't want to pay for that. My New Year's resolution is to get a full ride scholarship and I'm looking forward to graduation and I also want to be more nice to people and lose my attitude. So my New Year's resolution is to work more, get this money up, get your bread up, you know. My uh, New Year's resolution is um, basically going to college, playing football, get my grades right, be the best freshman in college that I can possibly be. Uh, that's it. My New Year's resolution is to get money, graduate early, and stop arguing, and stay on my stuff. Hit me up. Uh, my New Year's resolution is to uh, is just to keep going, just to keep hustling. You know what I'm saying? Just just keep just putting forth full effort in anything I do. So that's it. My New Year's resolution is to watch Cubs a little bit more and quit drinking coffee. New Year's resolution is to stay on top. You know. Forget what the haters gotta say. My New Year's resolution is to be better than I was this year. Duh. My New Year's resolution is get money. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to be able to learn how to drive because I sh I'm 18, I should know how to drive by now. And to make sure I stay on the honor roll and to get into one of my top colleges that I've that I picked. All right, uh, for my New Year's resolution, uh, I wanna raise my GPA. It ain't that high right now, I've been failing some classes. My New Year's revolution is to... Resolution... <laughs> is to get on the honor roll. My New Year's resolution is to be nicer to people. For my New Year's resolution, uh, I want to find a new job. Uh, I want to work on my attitude and I want to work on being a better person overall. My New Year's resolution is to be a better person than I was this year. You know, I'm get better grades and stuff, you already know. My new year resolution is to get better grades. I'm already on, I'm almost almost close to the honor roll, so I'm getting that right now, so I'm trying to do good. New year's resolution, keep good grades up, you know. Stay fly, you feel me, man? You feel me? My new year's resolution is to uh, win state this year and track 2017 400 state champion. All right, so my new year's revolution is just to have fun with my friends and get money. My new year's resolution is to definitely be on my college stuff. You know, college is right around the corner. I'm gonna save up all my money, get my money right. That's it. 17, my New Year's resolution is to find some new friends to make me happy. And my New Year's resolution is to just be happy in life, you feel me? You feel me, just get buckets, you feel me, do better with my grades. You already know, you feel me, do my thing. Hopefully everyone will follow through with their New Year's resolutions and make improvements in themselves. From all of us here at PNN, we wish you a happy holiday and a happy New Year's. See you in 2017. Signing off from PNN, I'm the one and only Renaja Nicole Thomas. The previous year left us with many impressions, but probably one of the most unusual was the mannequin challenge. To send 2016 away with the proper fanfare we enlisted the winter sports teams to feature our own MHS Mannequin Challenge. Two thousand sixteen was definitely an eventful year. The Cubs finally defeated a century long curse. Donald Trump shocked the nation by winning the presidential election. And a group of inanimate objects ruled the internet. That's right. From celebrities like The Rock to politicians like Hillary Clinton, that's for you, Mr. Naki, 
to even Michelle Obama and the Cleveland Cavaliers, the mannequin challenge became a viral video sensation. So it seems only fitting as 2016 comes to a close that we finish out the year with our winter sports teams competing in our own MHS Mannequin Challenge.
Thanks again to all the MHS winter sport athletes and coaches who participated. And spring sport athletes, the bar has been set. We will see if you are up to the mannequin challenge. Thanks for joining us today, and from all of us here at PNN, we wish everyone a very happy holidays and a safe and healthy new year. Signing off from PNN, I'm Matt Gonzalez. Have a great winter vacation, MHS.